Well, my name is Kenneth Crowder. Uh, the school that I fight out of is Arikion, and my manager and trainer is Clay Reynolds. Well, I've been fighting for a year and probably about a year, four months, a year and three months. And pretty much I got into fighting because I've always been interested in the sport of MMA. And um, before I got into fighting, I was playing football and I just got tired of football. And um, Clay, Clay Reynolds and Ty Reynolds used to be my wrestling coaches when I was in high school. And I looked them up after I got out of college and I saw that they were starting a fight team. Once I saw that they were starting a fight team, I hit Clay up. Clay told me some practice times, some training times. And so he told me to be at practice that Sunday and I've been fighting ever since. All right, right now I'm currently a professional MMA cage fighter. Um, I finished my amateur career six and one. I'm currently one and oh as a pro. And pretty much so far it's been exciting for me. Uh, currently my style is uh, pretty much I think would be wrestling. My strength is wrestling because that's what I've been doing pretty much more than everything, more than the striking, more than the BJJ. But um, just training with Clay Reynolds, he consistently has us work on all aspects of the game, so we won't have to depend on just one style. But definitely, I would have to say my base would have to be wrestling. I'm pretty much just working on everything from striking to BJJ to wrestling and my cardio, even though cardio has never been a problem in none of my fights. It's always room for improvement. Uh, right now, my diet plan is a lot different from when I was an amateur. Because when I was an amateur, I was fighting at 135, but now as a professional fighter, I'm fighting at 125. So Clay has put me on a very strict diet. Uh, no dairy products, no carbs, uh, no sugar. Um, pretty much, pretty much it's on brown rice, chicken, fresh vegetables, steamed vegetables, things like that, fresh fruits. Uh, normally, if I need to sweeten up something like oatmeal, I'm using uh, honey or I'm using fruit to sweeten it up. So pretty much it's a strict diet. And uh, he told me he told me a saying. He told me once I turn pro that I'm pretty much not eating for the taste. I'm eating just to keep energy. So a lot of things I'm eating now I wouldn't definitely touch when I was an amateur fighter. But now since I'm a pro fighter, that. The taste really doesn't bother me because I'm just eating just to keep energy. If I'm watching my, if I'm not really watching my portions, I walk around at anywhere between 150, 155. But um, when it's probably fight time, probably three or four months out, I try to keep my weight around about 145, 140. Then when it's fight time, I'm at 125. But by the time it's time for me to fight, I'm back up in my 150s. Typical workout week for me is. Uh, pretty much wrestling from Sunday to Thursday is wrestling. MMA is from Sunday to Friday. And weightlifting, I like to go on and off. I like to go pretty much every day except for Saturday. Working a different part of my body part, well, a different part of my body. And the cardio, we pretty much train cardio every single day that we do the MMA because pretty much wrestling itself is a cardio training. It's a tiring sport and anybody that has wrestled or knows anything about wrestling knows that it's very tiring and it's probably the, if not uh, one of the top most tiring sports there is out there. And pretty much we're wrestling, what, Sunday through Thursday and then the days that we are off on the, like Fridays and Sundays, well Fridays and Saturdays, I'm running. I would like my career to go as far as it can. I would like to see myself somewhere like Bellator or UFC, but who knows? Uh, that's why I'm working hard at uh, my fight game and I'm working hard in the gym and things like that. Just so I can say, I can sit back after it's all over and say, okay, I worked hard enough to get here and I put myself in, uh, I put myself in the seat so I can be, say I can, um, one day say I can in the UFC or something like that. I don't really want to put a, a set time limit on how long I want to be fighting. Um, I just turned 25 now. I like to say I'll be in this game, but anywhere from 10 to 15 years, but I don't want to set a, a set time. And as far as how often I would like to fight, uh, if it's up to me, I'll fight as often as possible. But also I've learned that you can't fight uh, back to back to back. You also need, to, you also need time to turn, uh, learn from the mistakes you made in your previous fight. 
and or uh, to work on your game. And with people that fight back to back to back, I really don't think they learn anything from their last fight to just fighting. And um, so I would look at it as I would like to fight probably like every every other month, or every other month and a half. Pretty much how the uh, the after effects of the Shane Tyner fight. Uh, pretty much, I haven't been any any contact with him or anything like that. And uh, I think between the both of us, it was a pretty good fight. Uh, as MMA, MMA fighters, I think we both went out there and fought our hearts out. And um, recognition, as far as anything goes. Uh, a lot of, I've noticed that a lot of people notice me out out everywhere I go. Like I went out and trained at Vegas, out in Vegas at Randy Couture's and Vandelay's, and uh, one of the guys training out there, they recognized me as <laughs> uh, they called me the uh, the Phantom Ear Snatcher out there. So, <laughs> oh, hello, oh, his ear is missing. That is brutally nasty. <laughs> Evander Holyfield esque. He's definitely missing part of his ear. I don't think Crowder the, the, bit him. The crowd over there not liking the uh, <laughs> not liking the scene. <laughs> That's pretty exciting. And I also had a guy um, probably a couple months ago pull over while I was at a gas station. They asked me was my name Kenneth Crowder, and offered to pump my gas for me. So uh, <laughs> it's been kind of it's been kind of awesome. I've been enjoying it, but I also haven't got uh, I also haven't been sidetracked. I know what I need to do to um, to remain on top. I know what I need to do in the gym, outside the gym, and I also know what I need to do in the cage. And Clay Reynolds does a good job of letting me know that I still need, I still got a long way to go, and I still got a lot of work to do to get to where I need to be. I fight because I just like to compete. That's a competitor inside of me. And pretty much, I'm just, I'm just a competitor. I'm just a competitor. And then, I don't know, I guess it's just that animal instinct inside that makes me enjoy MMA that much more.